All right, what we're going to do here is installation on a 2016 Silverado. This is our Silverado and GMC Sierra kit. It fits the 2014 through current models. And um, first thing you want to do is you want to turn the steering wheel upside down. So I'm going to crank it up. The reason we turn it upside down is because we want it to overlap. We want the overlap to go this way, like a shingle, so that when you're resting your hands on it, you're pulling down on it, you're not trying to dislodge it. So, this kit right here comes with two pieces. This is the piece for the bottom, and you notice there's a notch right here. The notch needs to face you. When the notch faces you, you lay it out and make sure that everywhere there's a spoke, that you don't have any interference with a tab, okay? And that's where it goes. Now we're going to take and peel this. Now before you get to this step, you should make sure that you know where the center of the wheel is, top and bottom. You can mark that with a sharpie or something, or you can just make note of it. I've made note of it, and I want to line up the tab, the notch in the tab with the center of the wheel. And we line that up right there. If there's anything on the wheel, I've already cleaned the wheel, but there's a little spot right there. Once you get it in place, and you get it in the middle, then you're going to drape the whole cover around the wheel. You don't want to stretch it. You want to drape it evenly. And, it, and you can see right here, if you get it, you want to move it a little bit, you can do that. So we're draping the whole cover into place. You do want to make note of where it ends, that it ends in a fairly even spot. And you also want to make note that you have it clocked evenly pretty much around the circumference of the wheel. And we have it clocked pretty well. I might want to move this one around just a hair. Again, you don't want to stretch it. Let's see where that ends at. Now that's overlapping a little bit, so I'm going to move it just slightly so it doesn't overlap the they're pretty even there now this indexing tab with this notch is the center tab the first thing you do is fold that center tab down then you go to the back we're going to work our way to the left first and then to the right then you go to the back and you fold the back tab and each, each tab that you fold you pull it nice and straight and then you tuck it to the next one and what we're doing here is we're literally lacing the wheel the stream will cover onto the wheel and when you get to this part right here, you want to take your thumb and just smooth it down. And then you start with the small tab again. And then go to the back to front, back to front, as you lace it on. Here I am going back to front, and I'm making sure that it's nice and smooth. I'm making sure that I don't have any wrinkles. If you get a wrinkle, it's not a big deal. You just peel it back up and smooth the wrinkle out. I take the tab, the... there we go, now they're all done, and then we pick it right back up again. So I'm going to smooth that out right there. Right, and then I'm going to take the small tab, tuck it in, and make sure that I don't have any wrinkles. And then I take the back tab. So here it goes. Back, front, back, front. Just as easy as that. Back and front. Back and front. And then I got this one last little tab that locks everything in place. And now the the whole bottom of the steering wheel cover is installed. And after you install it, you just want to sort of grip it and squeeze it. Make sure everything's seated. Make sure you don't have any wrinkles. If you, again, if you have a wrinkle, you just unlace it back to the wrinkle, pull the tabs tight again, and that'll fix that. But I didn't get any wrinkles on this. Once you pay attention, you don't get any wrinkles. Now, so the bottom's done. I'll crank it up. And I'm going to turn it right side up. And again, the reason you, would, you do it at the bottom first is because you want the top part to overlap like a shingle downward like that. This is the same thing. You want to make sure you know where the center of the wheel is. Then you peel the cover. It's very easy to peel. Be careful with it that you don't stick it to anything. Find the tab. See, that doesn't have a tab. That does have a tab. That tells you where the middle is. See the tab right there in the middle? I've got it in the middle. I'm going to drape it. Being careful not to stretch it. I'm going to drape it and then look at where it ends up. Okay? That looks nice and even. But that's a little farther overlapped that way and that's a little farther not that way. So I'm going to clock it backwards just a little bit. So that so you want it to... And again, if you don't put any pressure on it, it comes right back up. No problem. So that, see that overlaps right, you're just checking the, so everything looks pretty good there. I'm going to peel it back up. 
and then take the center tab. That's the first thing you throughout the notch in it. You, you fold it down. Then you start. We're gonna work again just like we did before. We're gonna work left. So I'm getting back tab, front tab. Back tab. And as you're doing it, you just feel, make sure you don't have any wrinkles. Back tab, front tab. Back tab, front tab, back tab, front tab, back tab, front tab, back tab, front tab, back tab. And see right here, I don't want to get ahead of that, so I'm going to sort of smooth it down. Front tab, and then my back tab locks everything in place. And I'm going to smooth that down, make sure everything's nice and smooth, and it is. Now, and one of the amazing things about this is you get this beautiful Alcantara suede feel that just is so nice. It's cool in the summertime, it's warm in the wintertime, and uh, it just, there's nothing like the feeling of this suede on the string wheel. Now, I'm going to work our way right. Back tab, as we've already done the center tab, front tab. And back tab again, pull it forward, make sure there's no wrinkles, front tab. Back tab, front tab, back tab, front tab, on down the line till all the tabs are laced. Now again, as you start to get close to the edge here, let's make sure everything's gonna you pull everything, let the let the sort of shrink into place. Make sure that's gonna sit like you want it to, right? And then we've done the back tab and we go to the front tab, back tab, front tab, and this one locks it in little guy right there and then I just smooth it down and it is installed now after you've installed it the adhesive really likes to have a few days of use before it really reaches full strength so don't go picking at it uh, but once you've had it on there a couple days it is there and removal is reverse of installation you can't just pull this off you have to go back the way you went starting to the side and go that and then peel it off but it'll be it ought to be on there for a long time before you have to do that and get another one. There you go.